They do not look good. They do not feel good. They are definitely not crispy. They're like soggy as hell. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl. Merle, welcome back to my channel. Or should I just call it the Fake Bacon Making channel? Because last week we made vegan bacon too. But this time we're doing it for the one and only a Golden Ramsay. Ever heard of him? Nothing gets the vegans hissling and crackling and spitting and <laughs> like Gordon Ramsay. Personally, I think it's cool that Gordon Ramsay is doing a bunch of these different plant-based recipes. He's got a big platform. Gordon played it pretty coy with, uh, with the caption on this recipe when he released it. He said, oops, I did it again. And he, he tagged a certain someone that most of you probably know. You gotta love a little, little drop of drama there. I've already tried a Gordon Ramsay vegan special when I did the eggplant steak, which also threw a lot of vegans into a tizzy. Did it taste anything like steak? Absolutely not. But whatever, I thought it was tasty. It's really delicious though. Aria thought it was tasty. Dude, this is fantastic. Gordon recently had his first ever vegan contestant, Josie Clemens, on Hell's Kitchen. So like, I think that's exciting. Come on down to the vegan pool. The water's fine. The water's fine. You look like the 4th of July. Makes me want a hot dog real bad. No reason. So without further ado, let's get to bacon. So the first thing we're gonna do is press some tofu and we're using extra firm tofu. I'm using a reusable dish rag that's very clean, just washed it. I'm doing this because I wanna show you all that we don't have to go through a ton of paper towels in order to press our tofu. And you can just toss in the washing machine, call it a day. Next, we're going to make our bacon marinade. We're gonna add in some melted butter, vegan butter, of course, nutritional yeast, Soy sauce, maple syrup, liquid smoke. He's a wild, wild man. He's using two teaspoons of liquid smoke. I use like one drop, two drops max usually, but I'm gonna go for it. If with my first bite of this bacon, there's like smoke pillowing out of my ears, then it was the liquid smoke. Smoked paprika, some cayenne, sriracha, garlic powder, and some water. Pepper, Gordon said freshly cracked black ground pepper, but I'm not fancy like you, Gordon. I need to get a nice big old one of those big <laughs> Maybe when I hit 100,000, I'll buy myself a huge pepper grinder. I think that's a good goal. So while, while I'm at it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already? Don't you want to see a huge pepper grinder? Now we're going to mix all that up. Ooh, that'll send your nose hairs right off. I'm going to take my pressed tofu and I'm just gonna crumble it up with my hands into like little pea-sized pieces. Ooh, this would be good ASMR. Thank you so much for coming here today and treating yourself. Is that how ASMR works? I'm having too much fun. If you're not having fun, what are you doing? Once we've got this all squished, we're gonna add three tablespoons of our marinade onto there and one tablespoon of nutritional yeast. Dare I try the marinade? Just a little piece. Whoa, give me a swift kick in the tonsils. It's like the essence of smoked wood chips. Ugh, the smoked wood chips. I'm just gonna mix that up. Bacon aside, this just seems like a great marinade and seasoning for tofu. And now we're just gonna set this aside while we get our rice paper ready to go. So now we're gonna cut up our rice paper. He called for square sheets of rice paper, but all I had is like loads and loads and loads. We got a lot <laughs> of circular rice paper. It also said in the recipe that this would work too. It's just, you know, we'll have to kind of shape them a little bit more than we would if they were square. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting these up. Oh, Genevieve's here. What do you think, big girl? Oh, what a good girly. Now, got some parchment paper. Put that in the baking sheet. A little pro tip. <laughs> yeah, and guess what? When you uncrumple it, it stays flat. No more curling and messing up your plans. Now we're gonna coat our rice paper, both sides and just lay those on our baking sheet. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that for all of these. Now we're gonna take our tofu, remember the tofu? Great. We're gonna take that and we're gonna crumple it over the top of our bacon strips, and then we're gonna take another piece of bacon, dip it in the marinade, 
and we're gonna press it on top. And the tofu is gonna act as like the fat element to the bacon. We're making a tofu rice paper bacon sandwich, basically. All right, I've got my bacon all pressed and ready to go. There's clearly a lot of both tofu and marinade left over, so this makes a lot. We're gonna go ahead and bake these at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 195 degrees Celsius. Yeah. But these are already looking really incredible. I am like, whew, I can't wait to try these. I wanna just eat one right now. Gordon said to refrigerate our bacon for even up to a week and they will become crispier and more bacon-like. I'm just gonna do it overnight and see how that works. Okay, so the first batch that I made yesterday and I put in the fridge overnight, there were no instructions as to how to do it, so I sealed them in a plastic bag and they're like limp as hell. They do not look good. They do not feel good. They are definitely not crispy. They're like soggy as hell. So I'm gonna have to make more right now. We need specifics, Gordon. I need to know exactly how to refrigerate them because this ain't cute. It looks like seaweed. Do I was lit, yeah. Yeah, that's me doing that. They're very crisp on the outside, but if you don't like that, you could always just break that part off. I think one way to avoid getting all of these black charred edges would be to spread the tofu out completely evenly across the entire rice paper strip. Either way, like it doesn't resemble bacon as much as other vegan substitutes have in the past. All right, what a journey this has been, huh? We have bacon, we've got a gorgeous BLT that frankly, I have a crush on. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I'm gonna take a quick bite of this bacon and then we are going to try the BLT. Damn it, Ramsey. You know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. Why should I be surprised? It's really nice to have that blend of crispy and chewy. And this makes for nice pockets of fat that frankly I'm here for. The one thing I can dock from this though, the seasoning is intense. Like there's so much paprika, cayenne. It's a lot of work. Would I rather just slap down pieces of rice paper instead of like individually laying out the tofu and then sandwiching it together? Yes. And realistically, moving forward, that's probably what I'll do. I know you were on the edge of your seat, Gordon, for my approval. I'll give it to you. You did a good job. I would give this, including the taste, the look, and the actual process of making it, like an eight. So let's try the BLT. Because this has the aioli and everything. Mmm. Gordon, you naughty, naughty man. This is fresh as hell. That aioli does not quit. Aioli, 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 aioli. I'm disconcerted by the fact that I wasn't able to refrigerate these overnight, Gordon. I think the only way it would be worth going through all the effort of making this would be if I could make a bunch ahead of time. So Gordon, if you could just like let me know how I was supposed to store these if it wasn't in a plastic bag with paper towels, that would be great. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe. Come on. Come on. If you want your comment to be pinned below, Think of a great pun of something to do with, you know, all of this episode. I'll pin it, I'll do it, why not? I have a Discord if you guys wanna hang out, chat with me, I'll be there. And I'm gonna be launching a Patreon soon. So let me know please in the comments below or you can just DM me and let me know what would be some good Patreon perks that would make a subscription worth it to you. With that, I bid you adieu. You guys are the best. I love you all. Bon voyage. Goodbye. <laughs>